Well, all right. So welcome to our English 1B online class. I just want to take you through a few things here. <clears throat> um, so this is obviously our, our landing page, our, our front page. Uh, this is our welcome. This is where I'm, this video will be, uh, <laughs> where it's a super helpful video, uh, super helpful orientation video. Uh, the beginning of the class is just to kind of get you set up, get a sense of what we're going to be doing over the course of the semester. Uh, it goes over sort of minimum computing requirements that, you, that you'll that you have to have for, uh, for this class. Obviously, it's all online, so you're going to need a computer and internet access. If you uh, need help getting uh, internet access, uh, there are low and no cost uh, options that are available here. I also included that in the Weebly page, the syllabus, um, so it's there for you as well. And you're going to need Microsoft Word, and as a student, you get that for free. Uh, ability to copy and paste, if you need help with that, I can help you with it. Um, and then, like, ability to access our online material. Uh, all of our readings, except for the best we could do, are going to be online. I think this is also important. Diversity is very important. Uh, I, I feel like... Uh, the more diverse our class is, the more diverse the readings are, the better it is because you get sort of uh, these angles from all sorts of walks of life, all sorts of rhetoric, all sorts of different ways of thinking about the world. Uh, so uh, it's a good thing that we are all different. Um, I think that uh, that's a similarity, actually. <laughs> we have that in common, uh, that we're all different, right? Nobody knows exactly uh, what's happening in your mind. Nobody knows exactly what's happening in my mind. Uh, but that's what writing is for, right? To sort of clarify and to try to, to, to share what's happening in our, in our minds, right? Okay, well, <clears throat> this is the best we could do, the book we're going to be using. And as we go through the semester, you're going to click on each of these weeks. I'll just start, I'll show you week one real quick. So when you click on week one, you're going to have a welcome to the week. Um, usually I'll write something about the authors here, but this is just to kind of, uh, to just use as a getting to know you kind of a thing. Um, what you're going to notice in the coursework is there's a lot of different things. That's not normal. Uh, just the first week does this because there's so many things that we kind of have to get the groundwork for. So please don't let that overwhelm you, okay? I know it looks like a lot of stuff, and, and it is, but uh, this is not typical of every week, okay? Uh, typically what you'll see is two discussion board uh, posts, annotations, and a quiz. Uh, and then, of course, the various things like the proposal uh, or essays that are due or peer review and things like that. Um, there are two reasons really why uh, there, there is so much incorporated into the coursework for each week, and that is an eight-week semester is so abbreviated that there are, it necessitates us doing a lot within each week. But, uh, but this is atypical of, um, uh, of, uh, of a normal week. It's kind of an aberration. But, so don't worry. Don't let it, sort of, don't let it uh, get to you. Uh, this is just mostly helpful stuff too like um, the essay checklist is very helpful for writing your first paper um, the sample proposal is very helpful for writing your paper this is kind of just set up right so reading the syllabus logic models socrates that's all kind of set up for what we're going to be talking about uh, in induction deduction throughout the rest of the semester so uh, so <clears throat> Uh, that's what that is. Uh, I'm going to make it try try to make it as clear as I can what what's going to be due what day. Um, uh, typically, discussion boards, uh, the first discussion board will be a Monday Wednesday deadline. That is, you post your post on Monday, and then you respond to other people's posts on Wednesday, and then the second discussion board post will be a uh, a Thursday Saturday. So you'll post on Thursday your original post, and then you'll respond by, by that Saturday. Um, the, the nice thing about being all online is that we can meet whenever we want, right? And we can have deadlines whenever we want. And so you'll see Proposal 1 isn't due until midnight uh, Sunday, the, the 14th, okay? So, so I try to give as much time as I can uh, for the allotted uh, assignments. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask those questions. Especially in the uh, in the Q and A forum. 
you'll see at the bottom here, there is the question and answer forum. Please do post here. You'll click on reply, and then you'll write in whatever question it is that you have. That way everybody sees it. Not just me, but everybody in the class. So think of it as like a asking a question in class, right? Uh, everybody else in the class can hear the question. They can hear my response. That's what the discussion board uh, for the Q&A discussion board is for. Um, so that everybody, you might not even realize they had that question, but then they read your question and they go, hey, that's a good question. <laughs> I want to know the answer to that. And then I give the answer, somebody else gives the answer, and, and we go uh, moving forward with clarity. All right, so um, that's all I have for you now. Um, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free, like I said, to use the Q&A forum or uh, ask me a question in my email. Uh, I will have advice hours throughout the semester as well, and those are posted in the... Um, uh, in the syllabus in my in my website syllabus um, other than that I hope you're having a, a wonderful day and I will see you online all right